Jakub Lotarszygulski is writing the story of Hearthstone since an early beta. After qualifying to IM Katowice in 2014, his career took on some pace. He's well known by Lady Bonner's community after his memorable blink towards the camera on the Seed Story Cup. With his acting skills, which could be matched with Dynasty series stars, he's quickly become a favorite of the female part of the public. Player, caster, captain and Nihilum manager. He's recently let us know him a bit better as a great cosplayer turning into the role of life coach Reynard and Forsen, which started with Alesh and ended up with full-on clown fiesta. Let us present to you. Jakub Lotar Szygulski. Tell us something about Nihilum. You are the captain of your team. Have you recruited the players and what was Kungen's role in the process? Basically, uh, the first thing that happened uh, was um, that a sponsor appeared uh, and that was Kingwin um, that allowed me uh, to start Nihilum as an esport organization because Kungen um, built the Nihilum guild in World of Warcraft. That was basically a guild, an honor guild, when it comes to a uh, computer reward, you know. So everyone knew that Nihilum was a really amazing guild um, at that time and it was like breaking world records when it comes to World of Warcraft. And I knew Kungen uh, for some time. And I knew that with the sponsor that I, that, uh, that I had with Kingwin, uh, we can build a Hearthstone team, which is basically related to World of Warcraft, and we can do, start something amazing. So, first of all, I found the players, I found Life Coach, I found Thais and Radu, who were already an established, um, they had an established position in Hearthstone, but Life Coach at that time wasn't really tied to any team. Uh, Thais and RDU were in Meteor Makers and they were really not happy with what was happening in the organization. So I tried to convince them that I can build a really amazing team with them, uh, with all four being players and uh, in, in just under one banner and we can make this happen. We can, we can be the best team in the world. They liked the idea. Uh, it took some time to convince them, but they liked the idea, and that's how it all started. From that point, we are like from you know we used the, from the brand was basically from zero to hero uh, because in Hearthstone, uh, as much as people knew Nihilum from World of Warcraft, we still had no uh, success in Hearthstone because it was basically a new new organization, not like you know Cloud Nine or Team Liquid or. Uh, Temple Stone or, 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 or even Archon, you know, and we started the uh, the organization like from from scratch, and everything that was being developed under Nihilum was my doing, and I took a lot of time. I sacrificed a lot of time to organize this um, this team, and right now I'm playing less and less because I have a lot of managerial stuff to do. But I'm really proud of what we have done in Nihilum and how Life Coach Thais and Radu are representing this team. And it's really amazing to see that we are now we are now known as the top tier team in Hearthstone. So this is really amazing. And uh, you ask about Kungen. Well, Kungen is the owner of the brand, you know. He, he owns the name, uh, but he's not really... Uh, like micromanaging uh, the the organization that's basically uh, my stuff. Yeah. You are not only the captain and manager of Hearthstone team, but you've been recently announced the general manager of the whole organization. Uh, yeah, I got an upgrade in that department. Um, that's true. Uh, for like one month, um, I'm the general manager of the whole organization. So it piled on additional um, additional um, responsibilities to the stuff I was doing in Nehilum. So uh, it's not as before when I was just, you know, I was just worrying about Hudson, how we get to, uh, to the tournament, how we get the logistics, how we get the invites, uh, about the, the salaries for the players and other stuff. So now I have other other stuff to do and uh, we had the CSGO, uh, um, CSGO team, we had the Heroes of the Storm team, uh, there was a lot of stuff, we have also like uh, the PR 
uh, team that writes uh, news on our, on our website. Uh, the whole business development is on my head. And that's what I do most of the time. Like uh, when I'm not playing, not streaming, uh, 90% of my time is basically business development. And uh, this is my biggest task when it comes to uh, managing the team uh, to get new sponsors, to find new opportunities of um, how we can develop as an organization, as a team. And uh, I still, of course, micromanage uh, the the Harson team and, and speak to all the, to the uh, tournament organizers about invites and stuff because I basically knew, know everyone in the scene, uh, so it's like natural for me and it's um, everyone knows that they can ask me anything about Harson they will get a reply from me so uh, I still get a lot of Skype messages basically my Skype is like a ping pong table it's like always beeping beep 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 and it's always happening and uh uh for most of the time i'm trying to you know put it on silent because i hate hate this software it's really awful and i'm trying to find someone something else to use but for now we have to stick to skype but yeah i'm kind of topic and um it's a lot of a lot of work when uh, when uh, when it comes to managing a whole organization not only a team but a whole whole organization and uh uh, basically, I'm also the face of Nihilum, so this is also putting some pressure on me. Uh, but I hope I'm doing well, and we have really a lot of stunt planned for the future. And uh, can't really tell about anything right now because you know there's some secrets. Uh, but they should be announced really soon, and hopefully there will be really cool surprises to not only the Harson Harson scene, but also to the whole gaming gaming scene. Recently, you've been recognized as a great cosplayer. Your impersonation of life coach and force and were epic. Tell us more about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, that was like one of my ideas how to um, increase the viewership of my stream. And the, the first cosplay I did with life coach was um, basically like um, made ad hoc. First in countdown, Zane. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fire! Los! Jackpot! Well, he has hard time also. Hände hoch! Did he? Did he? Did he say that? Hände hoch! Really? Let's hope he will play the master for battle. Then ghoul. Ah, then ghoul is cool. And uh, that was an improvisation most of the time. Apart, of course, from painting my, my beard and uh, the other visuals. That was al almost improvised on stream, like picking up the music and uh, making the German remarks. And uh, I'm still kind of fluent with with German language so it was kind of natural to me uh, but I tried to make it as funny as possible and people loved it so I, uh, I thought to myself well maybe I can do it like you know on some kind of schedule basis and uh, uh, the second one with Forsen was uh, much harder to pull off um, because of a few reasons like uh, one of the reasons was the fact that basically Forsen's uh, character for some stream um is tied really close to his chat and the music he's, he's uh listening to and it was much harder to pull off after like three or four hours i was running out of ideas and uh, uh that also gave me like uh, that also gave me tips um how should i improve with the next ones i will be preparing so it will require a lot of more uh, preparations and uh, I will try to nail the accent of that um, that person I will try to impersonate and uh, I'll try to make it of course as fun as possible but it's quite a challenge you know it's it's really exhausting to be in someone else's skin uh, for such a long time How are you guys doing? I'm visiting Poland today. I'm at Lotos channel. 
To be honest, I didn't see any difference. Best freeze match in the world. That's fucking me. I'm trying to be the whole time to be in someone. I mean to be in that in that role. So I'm trying to avoid my uh, behavior to avoid my uh, type of um, you know just accent of, of of the vocabulary that I use. I try to avoid all of that to to try to be someone else. And when you stream for like six hours. That's really hard to pull off, and but uh, it gives me a lot of satisfaction, and like both of the time, both both of the times, uh, there was like a top Reddit topic uh, about the cosplay, so people were like shooting comments. The the, the topics were reaching like 200, uh, 200 comments or even more. They were upvoted like hell, and um, from like ninety nine percent of the comments were basically saying, "Dude, great stuff, do it more." And uh, that's, that, that actually motivates me to do that kind of stuff. But as, as I said, it requires a lot of preparations and a lot of ideas to be implemented uh, in the cosplay. Um, so this will be something I will be doing on a scheduled basis. But as I said, it will be not as often as, you know, like twice per week or I don't know, maybe even once per week because it's, it requires a lot of stuff. Okay, guys. Ah. Oh. This is it for today. Thank you guys for being here with me. Everyone, Jakub Lotar Szygulski. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.